must have challenge. This is the 10 palette challenge. No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle with Beauty Box Confessions. And the reason why I'm smiling is because today we are this doing the 10 palette challenge. No, no one challenged me, but I'm doing the challenge. The 10, the 10 palette challenge. What are the 10 most, uh, the 10, your top 10 palettes. The top one, I ain't gonna be there. This is the 10 palette challenge. And so I go to this palette right here. Um, cause sometimes I mix two, but it's the Too Faced Sugar Plum Fun palette. And I go to this when I need, um, this would be number 10. But I go to it, you can tell when I go, um, I go to like these shimmers when I need something to pop a color. The the formula is great and I just, and the, it really like pops out. Okay, so number nine. Now I'm, I, this is one of my favorite palettes and I do use it a lot. Um, this is the Day and Night, uh, KAB Day and Night, KAB Cosmetic Day and Night palette. We got in Boxy Charm, and um, this one. There's certain colors that I use a lot, but this one, the formula of these shadows are amazing, and I hadn't been introduced to the to this brand through Boxy Charm, so this would be a good one. Um, number eight. I'm gonna have to pick this. Um, this Too Faced, Pretty Rich. Um, palette and the reason why is I only the reason why this is so far down because we love Too Faced um, is that I only use this mainly when I'm like like a go out look or like a like something crazy look but I because it's got all these um, glitter and shimmers and different pops of color so I use this on when it's like a special special occasion but I do love this one of these shadows so this is definitely one of my go-tos. Like, so okay, that this is number number seven is gonna be. So this is a newer one, but I it's gonna be right up there. So this is Color Pop. This is the Stone Cold Fox by Color Pop. And y'all, wait till you see this. It is amazing. Like, and I and now it's fairly new, so it doesn't. It might not look used, but it is. And this has got the prettiest pops of colors. I mean, it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. These, the formula of this, is amazing, and you can do all kinds of things with this. It's going to be now. This is another one I didn't know this about this brand until um, Boxy Charm, but it's uh, Carmella Cosmetics, and it is the Defiance. It is a Defiance um, palette, and this reminds me a lot of the um, Urban Decay. Um, the naked one and I just love I use it and I love this is a go-to you always make a good look out of this and the formula is great and it's just a little palette we got from I love it it's like one of my favorites it's one of my favorites because we're getting closer to the top I put this at number five because this used to be um like one of my go-to's but it kind of got replaced by the defiance but I went ahead and put it in because it really it it served its purpose for so long. But this is the Elf Rose Gold Nude uh, Palette and Eyeshadow Palette and the nudes nude colors. And let me show you about this. Which let's see if it'll focus. There you go. Wait. So this is the one I, I used to be grabbing grab it all the time and use it until I got the Defiance one. So this is good and it's cheap <laughs> and I used it a lot I use that a lot so number four it actually is the uh, it is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette looks like this on the outside and this was my baby it's really dirty so they're excuse mess but it is like these are my colors and this is before I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone but this definitely is a staple I mean I couldn't get rid of this too good. <laughs> I love Urban K. This was like my go-to. Okay, 
the OG GDG, my very first palette. This is number three. No. Uh, yeah, this is number three. This is the first palette I ever bought in my life. It is the Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte. And y'all, this, I probably won't, um, look how many, I mean, they've hit pan. They have three of them, four of them's hit pan. And it's just, you know, the gorgeous colors. I mean, it's, and this was like the best one for me to get right at first. So I probably will hold on to this for a long time, but this is number three. I still grab four too, cause it's got good colors. <laughs> okay, then number two is gonna be by Too Faced is the Natural Eyes Palette. Now this palette is my second, this is my second one of this. I've already, the other one is already thrown away, but look, I mean, we all know how gorgeous these colors are. It's just a, you know, like a plain neutral type palette, but this is one of my go-to that I still, to this day, go to when I just want a fast, real natural look. Um, of course, it smells wonderful, but like I said, the other one, I think some, some of them broke up and some of them I used, so this is my second one and I love this palette. This Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette is definitely a must in your collection. Okay, and then the, the number one that I have reached, that I don't, I've reached for for ever since I bought it. And I don't regret buying it. And it got some flack, I think it got some, you know, like some bad reviews, I'm not sure. But I heard some stuff. Um, it's the Tartlet Tarte Palette. Okay. And this has just got the best. It reminds me of that first palette I bought. So it's, I've already hit pan on a couple of colors, but this is my go-to. Like, I mean, if I want to do something with nudes or something low key, but then with the pop of color, the, and the formula is amazing. So this is my number one, my number one palette. I was gonna have some, I went ahead and did some runner-up palettes just because I didn't want to leave them out because they are like notable mentions but this one is definitely would be my a notable mention this would be like my number 11 it's the huda beauty rose gold palette remastered that we received like in some and i use the heck out of it and it has this is a very good formula as well so i mean anyway the wonder beauty getaway this is just a small little face uh palette and i use that a lot um, I used to use it more, and that's why it's number 12, because I, I don't use it as much anymore. But this is definitely, definitely one of my, I wouldn't get rid of it. This would be number 13, and I, I was starting not to put it on there, but it is the Huda Beauty a Mercury Renegade palette. And I put it on there because I did just use it the other day, and I did, and it, I do use a lot of this, I use a lot of the shimmers, and they have pops of color, so... That is in my like top 10, um, uh, 10 palette challenge. Those are my 10. I wanted to do this video so bad, and I, um, I challenge you guys to do it, um, because it's fun. It gets you into, like, oh, I forgot about this or this, because I did go through all my palettes, and there's a ton. There's Don't tell my husband. Anyway, so, he knows. So, anyway, guys, that is all I have for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this, um, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and get your palettes out. Go through them and do your top 10 palettes. You never know. You may find one you forgot about. Um, so, guys, until the next video, I will see you then. Bye.